What's happening? So we got a uh, little bit of an update for the G. Something I've wanted for a long time, just never done it. So I ordered a carbon fiber steering wheel from a gentleman, Panjabi Q60. I'll drop his, uh, his information below. And um, we talked about doing like a small sponsorship and ordering me a wheel to the exact way that I want. And I don't even know what all that is. And time was going by and I guess we placed the order and randomly two or three months later, he hit me up and said that he, he has it and time to send some payment. So this is kind of a surprise to me too. But I'm excited as hell to see this. I'm gonna end this and uh, undo all this tape so it's easier for me to unravel. Call me when you want, call me when you need, call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. Call me when you want, call me when you need. All right, so I got all the tape taken off. We'll start with this. Looks like he threw in some driving gloves. Those will be pretty neat. I did get Alcantara on it, so we'll see if that... Uh, Keeps the condition a little better or whatnot, but this I believe is his company name and it's Senpai Motorsports. I'll uh, I'll plug his Instagram and a little clip of his personal IG and his business one. Once we finish all this, not sure exactly what this is. Kind of looks just like a little goodie bag. Here's some stickers and. Like another sticker, lanyard. That's actually pretty cool. Yep, Senpai Motorsports. Hell yeah, man, these look badass. Cool keychain, his key is all super green. Actually, speak of the devil. This is it, and that's his cue. Looks like a uh, cartoon draw up of it. Badass ride. Sells all sorts of carbon fiber goodies. And now we'll go to the main reason. Actually, this is pretty cool. I noticed that he threw this in too. My, uh, he knows my G is six speed. He threw in a uh, custom shift knob. Carbon fiber, that's pretty cool. I might actually have to throw that on. It's adapters for thread pitches of whatever car it's going on. That's badass, thank you, man. <clears throat> and last but not least. Lo and behold. Wow. This is freaking rad. My hands are sweaty and I don't wanna to touch this. <laughs> Wow. I got the trim piece for the interior too. Wow. That's gonna look sick. Alcantara grips, flat bottom wheel, white stitching, matching interior pieces for the cruise control and audio for volume. But wow, this is sweet. Super pumped. Thank you again, man, huge. Excited to toss this in. We'll probably turn this into a uh, install video too. All right, <clears throat> so there is a single plug right here that will reveal the T30 safety torques to remove the airbag. And you'll see another one here. I'm going to pop this off and take the Torx bolts off right now. This is what it looks like. If I can get this to focus. See, it's got like a hole in the center. It's called a T30 safety Torx, or I forget what the 
box set on it. But. Both the bolts are out. Should allow me to shimmy this guy. There's an airbag right out. That's gonna reveal these plugs, and I'm gonna gotta pop up these black things right here, and then these pins will come out. Like you got a flat. Those are unplugged. Once that's unplugged, you can just pull the wheel right out. Make sure those those clips make it through safely. My bolts, the Torx bolts, fell out into the trim back there, and you can see you have to we'll have to pop this out. There's one pin there, one there. Don't know where the other are right now, but I'm gonna grab these Torx bolts and start swapping the turtles up. Well, we took the wheel out of the car since it's a little easier to work with. There are two bolts here and here. They're both T40s. There's a spring that goes underneath them that holds this uh, this metal piece thing in place. <clears throat> I went and took this thing off of this middle trim. And then now we should be able to pop the Pop this guy out of here. And then now we're gonna be able to take off this black trim in the back and there's a couple pins. Black trim piece, there's four pins, four clips, one here, one there, one there, and one there. And that will go ahead and pop out the back. Kind of forgot to show this step, but after this piece was removed, we're going to take out this trim piece. <clears throat> when you're looking at it from the back, there's three bolts, one at the top, Two at the top, one at the bottom, and then this thing. You'll be able to flip the wheel over and pull the entire trim piece out. Depending on what you're doing with the wheel, I actually have a carbon piece that I'm swapping the internals over on. So we're gonna do that now. This is three screws, one, two, and three. We're gonna put that one over. And then again, it's three here too as well. Simple as that. The part I didn't show a couple steps before were these three screws are what drops the entire thing out. Hell yeah, this looks dope. Now to reinstall this, you're gonna need to put your two springs up underneath it. And then this piece is gonna press back down like that. And then these bend down like that. And then you're gonna insert the, tur the T40s. Wheel just slips right back on. You're gonna do the bolt. And I'm an idiot, I didn't torque it. No, I already have this plugged in. Well, that's all done. Super easy though, as long as you got the tools for it. Oh. Looks like that light's out, so I'm gonna have to change that, but man, this turned out sweet. I'm gonna turn the flash on. Yeah, that turned out sick. Shout out to Panjabi Q60, man. I've always wanted a carbon wheel. And now I'm ecstatic with how this looks with the carbon thumb grips. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.